If you've ever watched this video and realized that the next five points might apply to you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. What's up guys? My name's Dave from Airsoft GI and today we're going over the top five airsoft mistakes. So we're not talking little things here. We're talking those things that just absolutely ruin your day when you head out to the airsoft field. I've made them, Matt behind the camera's made them. Pretty much everybody watching this video has made at least one of these mistakes before. So uh, while you're at it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and like this, share this video all around the interwebs so way you can kind of add all your friends there. And uh, go ahead and uh, ring that notification bell, ding our dong, make sure you guys get subscribed to all of these videos so when they come out you see them first and you can keep laughing along with the rest of us and all your friends who have made all these mistakes. Let's get into it, shall we? First one. First airsoft mistake, failing to hydrate properly with one of these. You've all been there, you're out, you're playing outside, it's hotter than Satan's rear end out there, and what did you do the night before? Spent too much time drinking Red Bull and playing Call of Duty. What does that mean for you? You needed a hydro pack, but what did you do? You forgot to bring it with you. That's a critical error, bud, and now you're a heat casualty. So, first thing we want to remind you guys not to do when you hit the airsoft field, Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Hydrate or die, guys, it's important. You guys need to be drinking water a couple of days prior to your giant outdoor games, especially when it's hot, and especially more so when it's not hot, because I know about everybody else, but down here in Texas, we see more heat casualties when it's cold than we do when it's hot, because people are stupid. And when they are doing things that are stupid, they forget things like, oh, I still need to keep hydrating just because it's cold outside. My body's still gonna get exhausted. And I'm still gonna pass out and freaking die. We don't want you guys to die. So, hydrate. Next point. Hmm, what was I forgetting? Oh, that's right, point two. Not packing all the stuff you need for your game. We've all been there. You get there to the game and you go, oh man, I can't wait to like try out this new thing that I bought for my gun. But there it is, not in your bag. It's still sitting somewhere in your bedroom. It's probably a mess because you packed in a whirlwind at five o'clock in the morning before leaving at 5.30 to get to your airsoft game because you spent the whole night before drinking too much Red Bull and playing too much Call of Duty and you didn't really plan very well, did you? Nobody likes that. That includes important items like your eye pro. Nobody wants to show up to a game without the right stuff you need to cover your face so you don't lose your eyeballs. You can actually take the field and play. Uh, we've all seen it, man. I've seen guys show up to the field and forget to bring their gun, forget to bring batteries, forget to bring hydration accessories, leading back to point one about hydrating and not dying. Don't be that guy. Use a packing list. Make yourself a checklist. Keep a note. I have a whole list in my phone of things that I need to make sure I bring every time I go out to the field. So that way, I don't show up and go, man, this is cool. I'm, I'm glad all three of the guns I brought were the three broken ones with strip pistons that I forgot I had because I might have too many guns. Next point. You know, I don't always upgrade my airsoft gun the night before a game, but when I do, I guarantee you I'm gonna strip that piston 20 minutes in. I've been there. You guys order some parts last minute right before you guys get out to the game and you say, you know what, I really want to try these things out. I spent like $200 on this inner barrel. It's the internet said it's the best thing ever. And uh, you put it in your gun and while you're rushing to install everything, while you're shoving Mountain Dew into your face and playing way too much Call of Duty, you uh, misalign your hop-up bucking and cause yourself some nasty back pressure. And the next thing you know, you've stripped a piston 20 minutes in. And that was the only gun you brought to the game because you didn't pack correctly. And you're dying of heat stroke just from standing in the parking lot because you didn't hydrate correctly. All of these are mistakes. We've all been there, we've all done it. Don't be like us. Don't upgrade your gun the night before the game. Make sure you have time to test it properly and make sure everything's working correctly before you hit the field. Ah, yes. Finally finished upgrading this gun. And make sure it's good to go. And just, whoa! Ah, that, 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 oh, Doug, are you okay? Out, out. Ow. That hurt! That Sorry, out. I, I, I forgot to clear my gun. No Duncans were hurt physically in the making of this video. Emotionally, on the other hand. That's a different story. Get back to work. We've all seen it. You've all been there. Hopefully this one hasn't been you, but you've all seen that guy in the parking lot, thinks he's being slick, gets his gun out, gets his sight all dialed in, acts like he's all tactical, does a couple of reps to get his sight picture, sight alignment, plugs his battery in, pulls the trigger, and bang! He has now shot out the side mirror on his 2003 Chevy Silverado because uh, he just was not smart and didn't clear his gun the last time he played. Didn't check it the night before because he was too busy stuffing Mountain Dew in his face. Was too heat exhausted to think about it. And because he didn't pack properly, didn't bring his unjamming rod. 
You see how this all starts to snowball really quickly, guys. Don't be that guy. Make sure you always clear your gun. It's generally field policy when you're coming off the field and make sure your magazines are out, that your gun is cleared, and that most fields even have a rule about using a barrel bag. So make sure you guys are following all those procedures. Make sure you do that when you're working on your guns, especially the night before while you're really trying to pound out those TDM rounds of Call of Duty and stuffing that Mountain Dew down like it's water. Don't be that guy. Always clear your gun. Now, let's get on to some honorable mentions before we continue with our last and final top five airsoft mistake. Staying up all night instead of packing your stuff and getting a good night's rest. Son of a bitch, why won't you die? Not stretching before you play. Always do your calisthenics, kids. Ooh. Forgetting to turn your optic off after you're done playing. Eh, what's battery life anyway? Leaving your battery plugged in, and then it dies. Et to battery. Setting your calculator instead of your alarm so that you can show up on time to your major event. You said you weren't gonna talk about that in public. I, I lied, Duncan. So, we've all been there. You've all seen it happen. That kid who was up too late playing Call of Duty, drinking way too much Mountain Dew, stuffing his face full of Doritos, not thinking about packing the right stuff, not hydrating properly, definitely just not clearing his gun, gets out to the field, they blow the horn, the game starts, and he sprints as fast as he can to the objective. And he gets there, and he gets shot immediately because, you know, he was too distracted from all of the Call of Duty to properly, you know, identify targets. And on his walk back to respawn, he passes out and can't play the rest of the day and wasted that $25 entry fee for nothing. Don't push yourself too hard too early. Guys, playing airsoft is very much a marathon and not a sprint. Sometimes the tactical combat mosey is better than sprinting full speed in an objective. You have to know your limits. You have to know what your body is capable of. Most importantly, if you end up spending the rest of your day in the parking lot sucking down water because your legs are cramped up and you can't walk because you didn't follow any of our previous advice, then, uh, Really, you did nothing but learn a very hard, painful, expensive lesson that day. So make sure you guys pay attention to all of our points, including those honorable mentions. These are all from hard-earned, real-world, first-hand experience from all of us here on the staff at Airsoft GI. And don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, share this video with your friends, and hopefully you've enjoyed our Flannel Daddy impersonation today. My name's Dave. We'll see you next time.